Oliver, Lex hates to be wrong, but we seem to have grasped the stick firmly by the wrong end in the case of Dixon's and Carphone Warehouse. About a year ago when the two merged, we said the deal was strategically muddled, it had a merger of equal structure that we hate, and we didn't see any cost synergies and we poo-pooed the whole thing. The stock is up since. Where did we go wrong? Well, as you say, the, the stock's done very well. The, the shares in the merged uh, Dixon's Carphone are up about 37% mm. since the deal completed last August. That's against about 25% for the UK general retailers index. So it's really outperformed and now on 19 times earnings. It's, uh, it's a pretty hefty valuation. Where's it gone wrong? Well, uh, really, operationally, the, the company seems to have done pretty yeah, well. Yeah, is, is the increase in the stock justified by trade at the shops? Yeah, so it's, they've had a trading update today saying that uh, their profits for the year just ended, the fiscal year just ended, will be slightly ahead of their previous mm. kind of indicated range. And in fact, analyst forecasts have been ticking up throughout the year. And there's a few things going on here. Firstly, the the car phone warehouse side of the business, this is a mobile phone retailer, has benefited because its biggest direct competitor went bust last that's, year. That's always useful. Which is always helpful for a <laughs> business. Um, in the Dixon side of the business, this is uh, this is sort of small appliance retailing under the Curry's P and PC World brands. Um, their, their competitors have been doing quite badly there. We had AO World, which yes. is a small online only competitor. They gave a poor update recently. Yeah, yesterday they said the market conditions are very challenging. Um, but also the company's had some success in bringing its own car phone warehouse stores into its bigger Curry's PC World stores and increasing mm -hmm. the car phone warehouse sales that route. So it's, it's done a few things that really have, have helped things to go much better. But, but than only than one expected. of those things really speaks to the benefits of the merger itself. I mean, this is just generally good trading for the two sides of the business, plus this little bit of overlap where the, the phones are now being sell, sold in the appliance stores. Uh, has the merger itself borne fruit? Uh, have there been cost savings, other sales benefits, and so forth? It's, it's really too early to tell. There were going to be 80 million of synergies that they announced. About half of those were going to be revenues and cross-selling, and half, so about 40 million worth of cost savings. A lot of those revenues have still to come through. They, they only completed the deal last August. These things inevitably take a while to do. So we haven't really seen the benefits of those coming through. And to be honest, even when the, if and when those benefits do come through, it's very difficult with these kind of deals, even several years down the line, to say whether a, a merger went, made sense or not, because it's very difficult to separate out after the event what might have happened had the two businesses remained separate. Which means Lex may never have to eat its words. Maybe. Thanks, Oliver.